So, will I please welcome Socrates? Welcome to Heckler Workshop in the Erasmus Park. This guy's actually booked by the management, but I'm just testing the comics today. Right now. Hello, everybody. I was a little worried I wasn't all that prepared because you know, I've been busy the last couple of days and I, so I brought my list. And Me too. I didn't think I'd need it, but I got an odd feeling I'm going to get thrown off my game here, so <laughs> I'm going to keep it handy. It's a uh, beautiful, beautiful weather. You know, a lot of heat today, actually. Normally I'm always wearing, like, even jackets and everything, but today I, I decided to do that uh, Tom Petty song and I'm, I'm free balling. You know. Uh, oh, so, you know, you know, I gotta tell you, I've had compliments in my life, good and bad ones, but just now, I don't think I can get a better compliment than that. So anyway, whew, I'm feeling better. The worst thing is I have these sound microphones, so you can't actually get like, so far away from me. So anyway. I hope you all had a good Pride Month and uh, had a good Gay Day this weekend. I hope you got to the uh, Big Gay Day Parade on the uh, canals. It's one of my favorite things. And if you can't get laid at Gay Day, you ain't trying. You know? Now, okay, it's possible maybe you're picky about your vaginas. You know, I mean, it's true that there wasn't much in the way of vagina. It was a lot of a lot of faux vagina. You know, sort of a, a vagina substitute, if you will. Uh, but uh, four out of five experts I can't tell the difference. You know. Taste of licking, keeps on ticking. That's all I'm saying. Well, he didn't like the gay day thing, so. You know, uh, yeah, I was walking along there and I found out, uh, you know, there was a guy, he was offering blowjobs for free. And uh, I was impressed with his marketing. You know? But uh, there turns out there's a subtle difference between homosexuality and heterosexuality. And uh, I appreciated his offer and I meant to continue on, but then the guy starts haggling with me, you know. He offers me five euros, and he talks his way up to 20 euros, and then I found out that between homosexuality and heterosexuality is capitalism. Yeah. Now, normally a lesson like this will cost you money, you know, but I found out not only was he a great marketer and a great salesman, you know, but I, I made 20 euros, so. Yeah. It was a good day. So I'm a, I am tired today, but anyway. Uh, so it turns out being straight and being gay, it's not really all that different, you know. Like, uh, as an example, as a straight man, I can't get laid. Now you can ask any of these women, they can explain it to you much better than I can. But it's, uh, it's... but as a gay man, now I choose not to get laid. Yeah. See, now at the end of the night, the end result is exactly the same. But the difference is empowering. Yeah. See, now I'm the stuck-up little bitch who's too good to suck a dick. You know what I'm saying? Just check that list real fast. Yeah. He's throwing me off by not even being here. Yeah. Uh, this is like an anti-heckle, you know what I'm saying? This is like my 10th time on stage. I've always worried a little bit about this, you know what I mean? So, it's like, you know, telling a woman you're a premature ejaculator. You know, if you can set that bar low enough, you'll be all right. So, so anyway, I, uh, I realized that my game could be better. You know, I was, uh, the other day I was walking along and I saw these two hot chicks. And they were making out in a park. So I walked over to them and I was like, hey, ladies. Hashtag me too. <laughs> it, it didn't work. No. Yeah. Take a little peek at that real fast. Yeah. So everyone's in a rush these days. You know what I mean? No one's got time. You know, it's like no one's got time to, you know, smoke a cigarette, and get cancer. You know? <laughs> Everyone wants to have an e-cigarette. You got to be vaping. You know? I mean, you know, just sit down and read a book. Oh no, it's got to be an e-book. Let's go digital. You know? When I was a kid, we all had bola. And that was good enough. Now everyone, everybody wants Ebola, you know? I mean, whatever happened to person-to-person -person communication, you know? Everything's got to be airborne now, you know what I'm saying? When I was a boy, if you wanted Ebola, you had to kiss that monkey yourself. Yeah. It's like the herpes virus, you know? You needed a friend to get that, you know? Now everyone's getting their viruses by email? I don't get this world, you know? 
I mean, even my computer started treating me like my ex-girlfriend. Like the other day, I was just trying to get some work done. All of a sudden, it freezes up and says, it's not responding to me anymore. Yeah. Like that. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Reboot. But uh, yeah, all my relationships, even the good ones, they all ended the same way. You know, it's like, uh, you know that French play? You know, Les Miserables? Yeah. What's that even mean anyway, you know? Is that the miserable lesbians? Uh, my French isn't very good. <laughs> hey, let's check this out again. Hey. So, you know, that's the whole thing. When you're dealing with people, especially other, you know, nationalities, races, backgrounds, etc., it's difficult. And it's extra hard for me because, well, see, I was raised racist. And, yeah, well, what makes it extra hard is my entire family's black. So... You know, the family reunions were just always brutal, you know, because always hear the same thing. Who brought the white boy? You know, you know, I've been told you can't go home again, you know. My aunt told me that, my cousin, both my brothers. <sighs> Tony, it is a brutal, brutal thing. Fortunately, I got the list here. You know, uh, but an optimist will tell you that uh, every cloud has a silver lining. And that's true. It's called rain. You know, that which gives us life, you know, but the only weather we complain about because we're weird like that, you know, but the reality is that uh, negativity is actually a little more fun than positivity, and I'm not talking about hate, I'm just talking about, you know, negativity, you know, it's like uh, online, should you actually watch this video and if there were actual comments under it, you know, you'd see that the negative ones are slightly more funny than the positive ones, you know, I thought your show was great, you know, that joke about the cloud and the silver lining was funny, too bad the people didn't laugh, but uh, the funnier ones would be like, hey, suck a tease, you know, I caught your act, and uh, I gotta tell you, it reminded me of uh, sex with my wife for 17 years, it was a bit slow and predictable, and, you know, unless she really wants to do it again, I have no desire to do it, you know, so, hey, thank you, thank you very much on that, but uh, in the end, uh, I had heard that uh, comedy is a lot like sex, and I'm starting to think that's true, because uh, I was really excited about coming here tonight. And now that I came, I'm, I'm a little tired, but uh, I'm looking forward to coming again as soon as I can. So, thank you all for coming, and especially for going, because you can't see that you're a great audience. You are a great audience. My name is Sakati. Sakati!